she is has been one of my clients that's gone through the Living Abundance Mastermind, and she's now in my Living Abundance Leaders program. She is doing extraordinary work in the world. Um, and we met, we met at a program called Women in Power in the UK. And we've been kind of in each other's network for a few years. And she kind of ended up, you know, coming through one of my retreats. She is literally, so when I, when I was bringing in this work and this, this body of work that I was here to facilitate, I was being shown that, you know, we're here to basically transform our financial systems, right? There is a coming down. It's, it is happening slowly, slowly and painfully, but there is this sort of dismantling of these old systems. It's absolutely like energetically aligned. It's what needs to happen now. It's going to be very, very whole, hard to um, hold up these systems where there's a real abuse of power. Um, we can, you know, people will fight kicking and screaming because human beings hate change, but it's coming down one way or another. But at the same time, there's a rising up of this sort of you call grassroots roots movement, but it's a rising up that comes from deep inside of the earth and it happens through your body, right? So I say body, business, bank account. And I was shown that we are, there's all these different souls whose jobs will have to alter our own unique job. Uh, one person is not going to solve all of the world's problems, but you'll have your own unique jobs. So we're all these beautiful little pins of light, or this web of light that surrounds the planet. It's like the, the nervous system around the earth, and we're all feeding into it, right? And as we come home to ourselves, we actually connect to our own power, connect to our own energy, and we're actually pumping energy into this a kind of collective web or collective nervous system but equally we're doing the same thing when we're in our when we're in our fear state um so it's really really important your state of being and how you're being is incredibly powerful you just can't see it but mary is someone who's like on the ground literally building when i met her and i was listening heard what she was doing i was like holy shit this is the vision manifest like she is literally building new whole financial systems that are built on um, inclusion and sustainability and it's been really heavy lifting for her there she is she's coming on in um, so it's been extraordinary and, and so beautiful to hold space for her as she navigates because she goes out into the ring right and is trying to bring in this this thing which has been very difficult um mary we're talking about you already darling <laughs> <laughs> welcome welcome sweetheart i've been chatting about you before you came just saying what amazing work you're doing and uh, i was just talking a little bit about when i met you it was like holy crap you're actually doing the doing of this vision um and what it looks like when you're on the ground trying to you know and you're doing it on quite a massive scale and you know some people will be doing it in smaller ways in their business um, and then, you know, Mary's really used the mastermind and, and, and living about his leader space for her, right? So you can receive, refuel, let go, do your work on yourself, your own healing journey, and then you can get back and lead and keep going, right? You kind of need to refuel and recharge so you can keep going and keep facing, you know, in some cases you've been experiencing some very you know dangerous and difficult things. So I just want to, um, what I'm going to do is. Uh, just introduce you, um, Mary's little short bio, and then we're going to, we just want to talk about what this looks like on the ground. Now, not everyone is where Mary is, and not everyone's going to be doing what Mary's doing, but I think it's really important that we have examples of what this actually looks like in our lives. There's our, you know, there's your personal life and your own health, and then there's your team, and then there's what you're doing and what you're building and holding space for something new and something bigger and what that's like. So thank you so much for coming and chatting to us. So Mary Brennan is the group ND and co-founder of Forest Digital and the African Wealth Fund. Forest Digital is a fintech platform developed to enable financial inclusion and social impact investment. Mary is a chartered accountant who has worked both in London and in South Africa. She's done so many more amazing things. We'll just leave it there for now. And she's currently in South Africa. Welcome, darling. Welcome, welcome. So you. would you be up for sharing a little bit about how this works? Because today we're talking about like our money manifestation daily practice. And it all sounds kind of lovely and nice. Mm -hmm. um, but I want to kind of bring it into the ground a bit of, of what this means. So we do this inner work to do the outer work and do the inner work to do the outer work. Can you talk a little bit about, um, well, you could maybe like briefly explain what you're doing <laughs> um, and then, and then how you are as the, the, the leader of this 
you know, is a team, it's not just you, um, how it kind of works on the ground. Would you be open to sharing a little bit with us? Yeah, please? yeah. So I can, I can, I can give a, a very, okay, so in a nutshell, um, the business that we're building, it's been a 12 year program. It's been, I've been working on it for six years and it's a very big vision and it's to go and take FinTech out at scale and to get to the grassroots where uh, traditional financial services don't get and to do it in a regulated way. And it's quite disruptive. And so in order to get this right, we've been working in different countries at the same time. And, and another big part of the, so there's one thing is bringing financial infrastructure, the other is bringing funds, money to put into production because there's no point in empty wallets, you know, so you've got to get money moving in an ethical way again. And I think, and so it's a massive project and it's, it's been a long, long, long walk. And so we've been working on getting the technology ready, but also working with projects at the same time. So facilitating getting ready so that when we do uh, roll out the technology, we've got funds and projects ready to go. And some of these projects, I mean, we are trying to get down to the grassroots. We are trying to bridge where previous financial services haven't bridged. <laughs> and um, given the nature of what we're doing, it's been, a, it's been a long walk and there's been rounds and rounds of funding and rounds and rounds of moving forward and, and it's sort of two steps forward, one step backward. Um, and yeah, so it's, it's been an unbelievable story in lots of ways, but when it comes down to how do I handle in this, I, you know, my background, how did I get here? Um, um, you know, you can look at all of those backstories, you know, the childhood uh, story of uh, the, uh, losing my mum, um, traveled extensively, uh, worked in London, worked for the minibus taxi industry. Some of those stories have got trauma attached to them. They've got old patterns. And so when you're trying to do innovative stuff at the front, then <laughs> you find, I find myself, I've had to work through lots of trauma. I've had lots of triggers lots of things I've been facing. And in, in, in order to play the role I'm playing, I have to play it from an unhooked space. I have to be in my skin. I have to be not reacting. I have to be coming in from the center out. And this, uh, the high pressure of what, uh, what we've been on, my, my, my traditional pattern would have been to run at it, to work it, to overwork it, to work all the hours I could, uh, as opposed to making sure <laughs> from center that that was the right aligned action, actually. Is that what's shouting louder? Or is that actually what's gonna move the platform forward? Or that's gonna take that dynamic and shift it forward? And I think that um, the work that I've been doing on uh, with Lara over the last, I think it's going on a year and a half now, um, it's been huge. So uh, just dropping into certain, um, there's, you know, in the, in, the, in the vault, there's a couple of really basic daily uh, visualizations or, processes you can go through. And I found a few along the way that I've really locked into at a particular time, just to make sure that before I go into the world, I'm actually centered. And then uh, again, um, when I hit really hard things, so <laughs> big project went um, very demonstrably south <laughs> and lots of hard, 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 hard things to deal with. And um, Again, I reached a complete stage of overwhelm and then dove into a process which completely unhooked me. And not only unhooked me, unhooked such a deep subconscious projection I'd been holding on, on, on in, in my work that I couldn't even see what was in front of me. I couldn't even see what was being mirrored to me by my own team. And that being able to go into do the work at that moment in time was just, it's those kind of things. It's those moments where you can, take the goal of something that feels really uncomfortable and pain and I'm in a victim of it and I'm on the other side and then actually in a way alchemize it to an insight that shows you okay whoa I was actually basing that on a false assumption actually and now I can that the whole thing can shift and that person that relates to me in a totally different way and it's those kind of unconscious um, patterns we we all carry it. There's no, there's nothing wrong in it. It's just that we 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 you know we've built our patterns and responses over generations probably. And so the work is always just to get back in and sort of what is the aligned action as opposed to the reactive action for me. And it's this work has been pivotal. Uh, it's been key to, to enable me to keep operating from that space. Mm. I mean, sometimes you just want to operate from the the sort of more annoyed, <laughs> frustrated, um, you know, triggered state. So it's, it's key to actually get in progress. Um, also, because you're you're bringing in 
a very big vision, right? And and there's a lot of kickback. There's a lot of external kickback. And that means there's like a lot of like, you're dealing with sort of bigger problems than probably your average business would. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so again, we're having to, and if we go into fight or we go into the activists that's like trying to push, you just burn yourself out. It's not sustainable for you to do that because you can't fight the system. You can't actually yeah. fight it head on. So you've been doing such beautiful work in the, in the surrendering when actually maybe doesn't feel safe even when it's like, yeah. this feels like this is it, this is the moment. And you keep dropping in and keep letting go. And it's almost like getting under it. Um, yeah. I get this image a lot of like, we hold it almost like the womb holds the fetus. Mm. So we hold something that we almost go around it under it rather than going like this, we go zoom, zoom. and then actually, it sort of calls it into it almost like helps it to land in ground but that's a big baby you're birthing so <laughs> <laughs> yes absolutely and i think that as well um you know coming at it from a, a from an activist place essentially so i was into i'm a chartered accountant by training but i was always during apartheid south africa i was involved in um in the struggle and then understanding poverty so i came at it from a poverty perspective then i was in london i had a a sustainability perspective, climate change perspective, um, but then came back to South Africa and looking at the poverty like the systemic, it's so systemic, it's just like twist and we can move in a different direction is what I was kind of seeing at a vision level. But um, the other work is that we're mirroring and so many people have fear around money. They have, and there's so much trust issues in our country and, and, and especially within different um, sectors of society as well, because people have been financially abused as well. So there's um, there's layers and layers, money especially. And so now because we're doing a financial system as well, you sort of having to um, cross through all those trust levels. You have to, you know, so there's, there's multiple roles around money in the in the system and in the work as well. And in, in your, you know, you've also got to clean up your own. I had to work on myself around receiving in particular because yeah. I was coming at it from the other side originally, you know, <laughs> so. Kind of a little fighter, which is amazing. I yeah. can't believe how you keep going. It's, I mean, you are a true <laughs> warrior, but it's, but it's also like, I know, you know, my role for holding space for you was like, and now you receive, and now you yeah. receive, because there was also what I saw particularly with you and, and what I see in myself too, is when we're in that fighter energy, we're actually unconsciously feeding it. Because it's like when we're, it's like we're doing this. And what I've been learning to do, we have to get under it, right? Mm -hmm. Under it. We get under it by transforming all of this wounding and pain. And like the mm -hmm. little child, like, you hurt me. Yeah. Hurt me. Yeah. Like this. And get and hold it. And like yeah. bring it into love, essentially, bring it home, bring it to the ground. And you've been just so friggin' brave. I, I'm I'm blown away by you. And I know like there's still work to be done, but I think. What, what with with Mary's example of what she's um, what she's bringing in with this you know financial inclusion and you know a whole, whole new it's a whole new model right mm -hmm. which I know it's time and I know we're here to build but it doesn't mean what you're here to do it doesn't mean you're going to have this smooth say like manifestation isn't like you visualize and then boom and then la, la. you know it's not that that's that is the spiritual bypassing version mm -hmm. of it. Yeah. Um, and so, and I, and it, on a level, yes, like on an energetic level, yes, you can hold it, you can visualize, you can be it, you become it, and then it's there, but then we have to physicalize it, we have to put it in the ground. And that is a different thing. Hmm. You know, there's idea and vision, and then there's building something that actually lives and breathes in our physical realm. Um, and, and we do that first through the body. And then of course, we go out and build. So I just want to just like bow down to you, <laughs> kiss your feet, um, and uh, yeah, receive, receive. And um, it's incredible. And we have to refuel because we need to, the receiving is refueling Mary. So she can mm. keep going into the ring yeah. and keep meeting, right? Yeah. And I just want to add one more story just um, from one of the processes we did. I think it was one of the longer day visioning processes. You did an exercise where we looked at all the negative things around the monetary system. Now that for me was so easy to be totally filled up with the negativity of all the things that I didn't appreciate about the current financial system. And then to be able to let go of that mm. was so massive because, 
actually those projections, whilst they're real and whilst they do exist in the world, that's not the whole world. So those frustrations were almost blocking seeing what is also a possibility through those systems. So you can bridge in a different way. It's not about necessarily othering yeah. everything. It's actually seeing the whole, going, okay, it's not money that's bad here. It's the application in that sense or in that way that has that impact as opposed to uh, coloring it with all of the negativity. Yes. So letting it go completely was liberating. It's like, wow, it was such a big, oh, okay. Yeah, and I was that, carrying all that in. You know, you yes. carry it in subconsciously. You go into a meeting and you've got that. Mm. <laughs> it's in there. So it's, it's actually letting go of those old way, uh, ways of thinking. Mm. Yeah. Yes. So is there any other kind of golden nuggets that you want to share about your, because obviously we could talk all day about this incredible project. Definitely check out for us. Um, but is there anything that would be really good for, you know, the business owners here listening to you who are, you know, sometimes we feel like we're like, I can't do it anymore, or like doubt or exhaustion or like fear or feeling how, you know, I, I don't know how, because I think that's a lot, again, like, do you have any kind of words of wisdom of, of how you navigate through all the roadblocks that come up over and over again? I think that the biggest lesson is sometimes that these obstacles are the way and they're like meant to be there. So instead of making them other and go, oh, okay, it's not meant to be there or what else am I supposed to see? So that's hard because some of the blocks we imagine are terrible, but it's like sometimes sometimes it's it's for a reason and and just to be open, just to stay open and allow and allow it almost to come to you, allow it to get easier, allow it to show yourself. And it's, I think... One of the things is doing this practice and getting to that aligned action is really youth, is really great. And also um, defining your question, what is it that's actually in the way? Like sort of getting into that still place of, of allowing, but also what's the question you're asking? Refine it yeah. at the question point. Yes. And then, it, and then the allowing, then it'll pop through. The answer should pop through quite easily. Yes. Yeah. And it's not always, it's definitely not what it seems, is it? It's like different to what, the story in our head saying I find usually yeah uh, and it yeah. does I also find personally it, it requires vulnerability which yeah. also kind of sucks sometimes <laughs> yeah it is it is hard to put yourself out there it's hard to um hold space for something that's completely new that you've invented that you've uh, you're putting forward as your own um yeah yeah what keep what feels you what keeps you going What's your, what's your, what's your fuel? Like, how do you keep leaning in? To this work, to my work itself. Um, it's so close to tangible now. <laughs> it's like, I know. It's like, it's, it's almost it's here. like oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly got away, <laughs> you know, it's sort of, it's very close to, to, to and I know it's going to come with a whole nother level. On one level, it's so close to tangible. On another level, I'm sitting in a meeting this morning like this, as I'm, as I'm, I've got to still get, a, you know, there's still work to do. There's still understanding to breach between, uh, you know, things that I think should be done already. It's that kind of, that's a role. It's part of development. It's part of ongoing. It's like, there's always going to be that work. Uh, or I don't know if there will always be this, that kind of dance between you can see it and you still got to do it. That, you know, you still got to get there. It's, mm -hmm. it's still a process. Um, but I feel like um, as well as that I think from in this particular stuff it's uh, it's it's work whose time has come it was ahead of the curve 10 years ago it's now catching up and it's um, it's going to be tools for the next generation to completely uh, rewrite how money gets moved and how things get funded and just get liquidity back into communities from the ground up so it's a top-down and the ground up uh, uh, approach so fully, fully regulatory compliant. So in other words, you can't get shut off because you don't do this properly and you have to protect consumers and everyone properly. But then you have to get the technology utility from the ground up. And so that's exciting. I feel like it's, uh, it's going to unlock a lot of change, uh, mm. positive change and empowered change, yeah. access to everyone. It's like, mm. yeah. <laughs> Thank it's you, Susan. Thank yeah. you, Darling, and thanks for all the amazing work you're doing. It's um, maybe you can put a link into, into the chat um, if uh, you've got anything there that people can check out. Um, I really appreciate you taking the time to come and share it with us. It's been an absolute honor to hold space for you, right, as a center point 
keep feeling you up, loving you up, allowing yourself to receive. I think that was the bit, wasn't it? Is you were so focused out and it mm -hmm. was like learning how you were also the source. You were also a really valuable piece of this to essentially one to keep going, but also to actually keep going from a slightly different point of view. Um, yeah. It's actually really powerful that we can't yeah. always see. Would you, would you yeah. agree with that? Now, I think in a huge way, um, I was becoming fried. <laughs> I had externalized a lot of myself. I'd sort of put it on hold. And then that bringing that back in has been integral to success this year, to actually the foundational move forward is, is that whole Mary back as opposed to just the work. That, that was what had happened uh, through a pattern of work, actually. Mm -hmm. So it's massive. Massive, massive. <laughs> yeah. And the, what, what I, because I've been kind of advocating for Mary as she's freaking saving the world. Um, and, um, and that is one of my purposes to hold a really powerful space for you guys that are going out and doing some really groundbreaking work in some cases or, or birthing in new ways of doing things, uh, birthing your business into the world. Um, but this, uh, it's, it's been, and again, I think shame can live in here, but I'm going to say it. And I know it's for you and it's for, been for me too, but that you are also allowed to thrive. Mm -hmm. You are allowed and you know this, but, and, and it's actually essential that you do, even though right there still is inequality and there still is so much hurt and harm going on. If you are not thriving, you cannot do your job. Mm -hmm. So that even though you're fighting for kind of, you know, sustainability inclusion and, and all this stuff, it, it's not sustainable if we're not thriving. And for me, that's what, you know, money is designed to do is to support you so that you can keep going. Um, and I think this is why we have to really sift through all the noise and all the judgment and all the criticism, because if you're judging something is bad, you're not going to allow yourself to receive it. And this is why we have to get really clear, like, what is my wealth frequency telling me? And why all this, because mine's always like showing me luxury, but it's like quality and it's self-care and it's sort of refueling and it's coming home and embodying what we're trying to change. Not just, not just preaching it, mm. not just fighting for it, but embodying it, becoming it. And that is what I know is one of the most powerful things we can do. And then we send ripples out and then, then we obviously take action too, but to mm. um, take action from deep, we start with deep roots within and that I know because I can see it psychically. It's so freaking powerful what we're doing in the root systems that we cannot see. So mm. we are just done a big blast of love to Mary's root systems. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank roots you. as we grow, the sort of the grassroots start Thank to you. rise. And I want to say, like, this grassroots, I know it, I know it all feels like a fight sometimes. And I'm going to be doing a whole training on how to rise through systems of oppression because I've been hyper fixating on the subject for years and years and years. Like, how do we do this? How do we do this? This grassroots movement is just, is just nature. It's natural. We don't have to fight. Mm -hmm. We just have to breathe into life and allow it to rise because it wants to, and it's time and it's here. And actually it is here, but there will be, because human beings struggle with change, <laughs> we're like so scared to let go. There's, there, there can seem, and there is, you know, all sorts of shit going on, but you don't have to be feeding into that either. So mm -hmm. thank you, my darling, Mary. Thank you so much. <laughs>